Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got three trims for you. First up, we've got a heifer with a left front problem. Second, we have got a cow with a right rear medial corkscrew. And finally, we've got a big old bull with a problem in his front foot. So let's get started with that heifer. It's got a white line defect in that left front. Telltale sign, we've got some heel bulb separation. And that almost always points down to this white line. And yes, we've got a small crack there. So let's get that investigated. First step here is to get this foot trimmed up. You'll notice here on this lateral claw, there's actually a mark there too. You almost never see dual white line defects, meaning dual in, on one on each claw of that front foot. But even so, with this lateral, I want to make sure that I get that cleaned out. You don't want to get any, any rocks or anything that could get caught in that crack. So I'm going to clean that out, and then we're going to get started and working on the real problem, which is on that inside claw. I think it probably goes without saying, but the way I was able to distinguish which claw was the problem here, since they both had marks in them, was this heel bulb separation. That separation, of course, is a result of that pressure escaping from that foot when that defect happened. Probably, in this case, probably two or three weeks ago, that's when the original defect happened. That pressure built, released out the top, and that's what allowed then this horn to release and ultimately this claw to begin to heal. One of the questions I get all the time is, how do you know when that separation has ended? If you look real close, you can see some shading right along the margins. That means there's still some separated horn there, so I have to keep trimming until that goes away. As we zoom in here, we can see this is actually all filled in with brand new hoof horn. It is dark in color just from the staining, but that is actually good solid hoof horn. So this foot can go down just as it is. No need for a salicylic acid wrap. And you can she see she's happy walking away. We can move on to cow number two in that medial corkscrew. Once again, we've got some separation up above. We've got a crack in that white line, only this time it's on the medial, and that's due to the fact of this cow having a corkscrew on this medial claw. Now you'll notice this foot's already trimmed. What happened? Why did you cut through the trimming part? It's because I forgot to turn my camera on after I re-set uh, it up there, so we didn't get the trim down, but you get the picture much the same as the other one. We had to trim it away, had it correct for that medial corkscrew. And the reason we have this problem on the medial instead of the lateral claw is because of that medial corkscrew. That medial corkscrew, what happens is that cow actually, instead of the majority of that weight coming down onto that lateral claw when she takes a step, more of it is coming down on the medial. And therefore, we tend to see more problems on the medial claw with cows that have this reverse corkscrew or medial corkscrew syndrome. Another commonality with reverse corkscrew or medial corkscrew claw syndrome is that it tends to be high white line defects, meaning that mark or that defect in the white line is, is far up toward the heel bulb. Why is that? It has to do with heel strike and, and the way that that foot is balanced. Because there's a little bit of uh, rotation in that claw, when that foot makes contact, it isn't bearing the weight on that claw the way that it should, and that's what perforates that white, white line in that particular area. We see more of that, much more common with medial corkscrews, 
In a normal foot, you rarely ever see any problems with that medial. Almost all of them on the back foot, I should say, is going to be on this lateral. In this case, the lateral is sound, so we're going to get a block on that. That is going to take the pressure off of this medial. There is a little bit of DD present there, so we're going to get this cleaned up, and we are going to wrap this one with salicylic acid. And that does it for cow number two. Let's move on to the big bull. Hank the Tank is in the chute, and there's something going on with this left front. This heel bulb is obviously swollen. And if we look down, the only strange thing with this is the orientation of this crack is a little strange near this white line. But let's investigate it and see what we got going on. So that mark in the white line right here, that's pretty much disappeared. The real problem is actually up a little bit higher here, and that is a little bit soft, so that's likely where we got to go. Anytime you find a soft spot in what otherwise should be hard horn, you know that there's probably a problem underneath. That softness is due to that extra moisture from that fluid or any other buildup that might be underneath there. And sure enough, as we get down there a ways, there is a layer of separation. That's what we're looking for. One of the problems you have with great big bulls is that that is a lot of weight, a lot of pressure on a small footprint. So what does that mean? That means that weight has to all be taken up by that smaller hoof. And even though bulls hooves tend to be a little bit larger, their bodies are a lot larger. So you end up with pressure problems like this. This particular one had a crack to go with it. That crack in that white line actually allowed some bacteria to get in there and we ultimately have basically a white line issue only on a great big animal. I had to use a extra large block on him. Like I said, his hooves are bigger than the average cow, but he is much heavier than the average cow. Closer to 1,800 to 2,000 pounds he's going to weigh, where a cow, a brown Swiss in this case, or a brown Swiss cross, is going to weigh anywhere from 12 to 1,600 on the top end. He is closer to a ton. That's a lot of weight, but we got him fixed up. Got that block on there. You see that extra large block takes up that whole claw, but he's off. Just walking a little slow, but he's on the mend. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.